This is Alina Fusbal, I'm Alina, and in this video I'm going to concentrate on three aspects of this game. Number one is um, what I noticed in the German broadcast of this game. Number two, uh, the final score. And number three, uh, the German coach, Horst Hulpesch. So, let's get started. In the German broadcast of this game, a very famous goalkeeper from the women's national team, Almut Schultz, said that this was a team in which the little sister played against the big sister. I didn't like that actually because it was a way, I don't know if it was intentional or maybe it's something that is cultural, I don't know, but I felt it as if she was belittling uh, the Austrian players or the Austrian team just because of the history between the two teams because Austria uh, hasn't been able to defeat to beat Germany so far so so yeah I, I noticed that and the commentator that was next to her yeah he was also like using that way of expressing or addressing the Austrian team so it was not nice to see that and I'm talking about that because in this channel despite the fact that I don't call it we love underdogs in this channel uh, I don't know I feel really uh, attracted to teams that are called underdogs because those are the teams that in reality are like the real teams because then the big teams is because they have money they are like vampires they you just know you know they just take away the good players from the teams that had invested time and a lot of effort in developing players so for example in this case well in this channel we support the german national team but yeah somehow the frau in bundesliga uh, feed from Austria because many uh, players from the Austrian national team play in the Bundesliga, in the Frauen Bundesliga. So, for example, one of my favorite players, uh, Barbara Dunst um, or Lili Porcella, that they were pretty. Actually, actually, in this game, there were three key players on Austrian side that put Germans into trouble. Campbell, Dunst, Porcella, and they play in the Frauen Bundesliga in Germany. Why say that Austria is the little sister just because they haven't been able to beat Germany because they haven't won, you know, uh, a World Cup? No, I think this is a mistake. This is something that should be corrected, actually. Now, moving on to the pitch, because that was something that happened outside the pitch, but that makes an important and vital part of football. So anyways, going on to the pitch, we need to say that the first 35 minutes of Austria, despite the fact that I support Germany, those minutes, those 35 minutes of Austria, were delightful yeah I, I was surprised at that point I just said okay Austria win please because they were doing an excellent job what they were delivering on the pitch <laughs> they, they practically destroyed Germany's you know will team because they, they fragmented the German team. In the Austrian starting 11, the key players in this first half were Campbell, Purcella, and Dunst. So what Wade did was the next, in, the, in those first 35 minutes. So we have Campbell, Purcella, and Barbara Dunst, that she was here, but she moved on to the side of the pitch to support the attack. So they three fragmented the German defense. So Zagailinda couldn't do anything. Porcella, Campbell, they were really fast. The same happened to Dorson. And the first goal, actually, Campbell 
yeah, was faster and even more powerful than Dorson and she could score the first goal. Katrin Hendrich couldn't do anything. And in the second goal, a great delivery from Barbara Tunst. And Hendrich couldn't do anything against Campbell once again. So Campbell scored with an excellent header. So <laughs> the way in which Austria played was amazing. I really loved it and it made me really angry that <laughs> the German commentators were saying that Austria was the little sister. No way. That was disrespectful. Now, Germany was a little bit lucky because they couldn't threaten since Berger's, uh, you know, goal. But I insist they were lucky because Clara Bull was at her best once again, and thanks to her, Germany could find the way to score the first goal so and change the energy on the pitch because after that goal that she scored the mentality of the Austrian players changed you could see that on their faces and in the attitude of the whole team thanks I insist to the skills the this individual action of Clara Bull so yeah the German coach was lucky that Bill was there at her best. To the view of many people, Germany shouldn't have won this game because the penalty kick that was conceded to Germany, it was a mistake according to many. Uh, I say that it wasn't a penalty kick. Uh, Almut Schulz, the commentator, said that it was not a penalty kick and yeah it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> but yeah this is life that was pretty unfair with the austrian girls but yeah this is like what happened in the old times in football a kind of normal thing so to say because yeah referees are human it is not easy to judge some uh, actions on the pitch so yeah, things happened, this happened, and uh, yeah, it was a penalty kick. What do you think about that in the comments? Tell me about it. Penalty kick or not? And we need to say that this penalty kick was provoked by a, an attack in which a Laura Feigen participated, and that was a great move in the hands of Horst Hupesch because. Freigan changed the attitude of Germany and Schulze Solano had a lot of minutes in this game and she delivered a very good performance. So these two changes that Hubesch made changed the face of Germany. But we need to criticize something. Something that I criticized when Germany confronted France. The same story. Germany was not concentrated, Germany was, you know, kind of in disarray. And then Hubesch waited until the next half, until the second half, to make changes. Luckily here, well, there was a comeback. But against France, there was no comeback. Against teams like France, Spain, USA, Japan, you cannot wait until the second half to react and make changes. So that is something that, believe me, if Hubesch doesn't change that way of proceeding, uh, things won't look that good in the Olympics. So this is Alina Fußball, I'm Alina, and subscribe to the channel, give us a like, share this video, and we see each other in the next video.